Okay, so I have a Zoom meeting in 20 minutes and I just decided to stop editing and get ready for the meeting. I have one at one and I have one at three. And I figured I would do a quick, and when I say quick, I mean quick, quick, get ready with me for my meeting. And uh, it's going to start with this jean jacket. And I am going to do a Sephora kit for my makeup that I have had sitting on my counter since last year. Not counter, vanity since last year. And um, you guys know this scarf. It's one of my favorites. I will wear it every day of the year if I could. There we go. Dressed. I'm reviewing my Ed TPA with my professor in the three o'clock one, and I am doing just a catch up with my coworkers from Mary Cariola in just a couple more minutes. And even though I do my makeup every day, y'all have seen my routines. I'm, I'm tackling the kids, homeschool. I'm tackling my own fitness. I'm doing house chores, drinking and making tea and detox water, all that fun stuff. So I'm trying to hold on to this hairstyle for another two weeks. But it's really starting to look dry. And I really just, I'm just using coconut oil, the organic one, Walmart. I know they're not going to be seeing the back of my head, but I figured if I'm going to be doing this right now, I might as well just get it out the way. Mm. My hair is actually very manageable these days. It's not dry, it's not itchy, it's growing, which is what makes it so hard to keep my hair in a style for an extended period of time. The amount of conditioner, <laughs> leave-in conditioner that I use. Just one helping, no more than that. There we go. Oh, that feels so cool on my scalp. So I usually mix my own stuff. Well, I buy the stuff from the store and then I mix like 21 different things and I put it in recycled bottles. That feels so good. And that's how I uh, do my hair. I don't do two products at a time or one product at a time. I make a nice little blend and I put it all in at one time. Usually when I'm in the shower, I have it in a spray bottle, and I just put it in my hair. That's another video and another episode. Don't judge me. I got more. This feels so nice on my scalp. And when it goes on my scalp and it's cold, <laughs> usually I can tell that's how dry my hair has been. If it's like really cold when it touches my scalp, because I feel like my pores just opened. Guess what? Hair's done. Alrighty. Whew. Let's get true to you and move in closer. Ooh, see all that new growth? And I got that right there. It's going away. My aloe vera and peppermint and orange. Feels nice. I am still staying with, I got rid of the Almay a couple days ago, so that is done. That's all I need for these meetings, not too much. And. Maybelline fit me. 
now my hands are still like soaked from so my primer I almost forgot to put on because I'm actually going to be in this for about four hours I remember when I first started in makeup about six years ago now I was using my fingers with my fingers for all of it and that just did not work for very long so I got my first brushes from Rite Aid they were actually the eco brushes these eco tools which I love they're so fluffy and they have lasted me a very long time that's actually a new one again this is my old one but this side is still good so I'm a hoarder I keep it I need to stop hoarding as much I've gotten better over the years but I know I could be a lot better we're gonna do one more round just be I had an old bottle where I put the pump on this so I wasn't using the bottom of my brushes to dip into the bottles and do my makeup. This is actually my winter shade but I use it just to give myself some highlight. And that's what I use. In addition, I might put on a little bit of concealer. I have like 500 different shades. Has anyone been late for their Zoom meetings? That's funny if you have. Wait for a Zoom meeting. How did you manage to pull that off? I saw, I follow on Instagram, it's called Scary Mom. And one post was a cartoon of a mother who had just reached her laptop and she was saying in a thought bubble or a speech bubble, sorry I'm late, my commute was hectic. And there's, from the doors, her husband showing her something and then she got her kids wrapped around her feet. And then she also has um, her baby in her arm and toys are everywhere. It's cute. I liked it. I um, I recently started following the uh, page because it was just adorable. Setting powder. I know this is a lot for a meeting, but... It's getting done. Might miss a few steps, but it's happening. It's happening, and I'm trying not to make a mess as it happens. That's what I'm using. And as I do this, I'm actually thinking how my organizing skills are being put to the test every time. Every time I come up in here and do my makeup. Is contour important for a Zoom meeting? Yes. It's harder to look, ain't it? Because I haven't seen half of my coworkers for so long. I want to look nice and put together and organized. Not stressed, de stressed, upset. I'm just going to do. So I usually start with my eyes. I went ahead and skipped all the way to foundation and contouring because I know my eyes take 30 minutes of my life and uh, I don't want to waste my entire time that I have on my eyes and then I will be late late to this meeting. So I have been a setting spray. I have been a little um, 
misbehaving a little bit with my eating habits. So I do have a small, you know, double chin coming in. I'm not worried because I know I work out. And even if I did have a small double chin, I'd still be cute. I'd be cute, cute. There we go. I said I had 20 minutes, so guess what? We're about to get into a quick brow because I have time. So why not? This magnified mirror here. I did not do all of the usual things that I would do with my under eye. For my brow. But again, we are working with the time. I have decided to uh, give myself to get ready. I might do a little extra something for the three o'clock meeting since I will have more time to do so. But for this one, this is all we're doing. This sister over here is a little different, way different. And I've gone to Zoom meetings for uh, different things. And people are just, you know, in their pajamas, in their kitchen, comfortable. I don't have the teaching job that I want just yet again 11 years in the making not ashamed i used to be like four no even more recent than that two years ago i used to be ashamed of the fact that i wasn't in my field in my field but not as a certified teacher that used to get me every day but not anymore i have learned to adapt and cope. Now with the same brush that I was using to apply my makeup, don't judge me, I'm wiping off excess on my brush. I'm just gonna blend my foundation and blend out that brow and those harsh lines. It's okay if they're not sister sister. I can live with this. I'm gonna put just a little bit more on here before I close it up. Cause I'm gonna need that for later. And boom, that's what I'm using. I am going to go with a, I said I was gonna use Sephora, but I'm gonna go into my bare minerals. That's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna do ever so soft, look. It's not quite the brush I want. Here we go. And I'm going to be using all four colors. This is when I feel like my makeup really counts. Even though I'm at 13 minutes. Shimmer. I gotta focus on this part. My time is running out. Not bad. I'm gonna go back to this dark here. I'm just gonna blend out, out and up. Okay, eyes check. Liner, is it necessary? Do we have time? It's necessary. And of course we have time. Put 
don't rush. Mascara, is it necessary? Do I need it? Do I? Yes. It's the fastest get ready with me I've ever done. So if I edit this and put it on speed play, oh, we would be good. Cover girl, she's getting so small. Ah, I really need to sharpen it. Can y'all hear my kids playing on the Wii? I did not put on I can see some of my blush like going up into my eye I love this blush and I when I say I use it ever so lightly I mean ever so lightly I do not use it. I love this highlighter. I got it from Epsi in one of the glam bags. I cannot find my final setting powder, but that's okay. We're gonna go on one more time with the setting spray. Get all the ones floating in the air. And I just cleaned, whoa, I just cleaned all of my brushes, so I'm ready. And I am done. I need to go clock in. I do not lay my edges. If they don't lay on their own, they're not staying in place. There we go. We all put together. Guess what? This is going to be uploading while I'm in my Zoom meeting. Thank you for joining me for another episode of press shake and run i hope you found some inspiration please be sure to sit down and get ready with me from time to time okay like comment what you didn't like subscribe